Learning basic Mandarin, 24-year-old Rowena Pineda Fajardo is being trained in new skills that may help her in Singapore, where she plans to become a domestic helper. She'll join her mother, who's already there doing the same job. She says there are no opportunities for her in her hometown in central Luzon, where she'll leave behind two young children. Like me, not a college graduate, um, it is difficult for me to find work here in the Philippines. And other countries give me opportunity to get high salary than here in the Philippines. It's a big move, but she and her mom are not the only ones in the family who've taken this path. Her husband, too, works in a hotel in the Middle East. They are among the more than 10 million other Filipinos who make their living abroad. These workers sent back a record $21 billion last year, helping lift spending at home. And this is what will likely be waiting for Rowena at the other end. Her mother April works and lives in the Singapore home, cooking, cleaning and looking after an Australian family. April says she makes six times more working here in Singapore than in a Manila household. For April, her daughter Rowena and millions of other Filipino women who haven't got college educations, going abroad to become a domestic helper has become an almost inevitable way of making a living. Part of the problem is the lack of jobs being created back home. Critics say the Philippines hasn't developed its industries, manufacturing, agriculture or mining, sectors that could potentially be big employers. Well, there's a great demand for teachers. And there's a concern that it's addicted to remittances, a question I put to a senior central banker. Now, this is something uh, that was thrust upon, uh, upon, upon us. We want to bring back our workers from uh, abroad. We need them here. But uh, at this point, uh, we don't have yet the capacity to bring them back and uh, to provide them with, uh, with jobs. Because the Philippines relies so heavily on remittances for growth, Weaning off it will require major structural changes in the way the economy is run, something that's unlikely to change anytime soon. Bye, Mom. It'll mean April, her daughter Rowena, Happy. and millions of others like them will continue to seek out opportunities far from home and their loved ones. Sharon Jitlail, BBC News, Singapore.